In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up experience fragments. Now, experience fragments is just a good way of using or reusing content. So you can publish content and sometimes we use the same type of content or a little variation of that content in different pages or our websites. And Adobe Experience Manager gives us the opportunity to use and reuse experience uh, fragments, which is just reusing content or just a little variation of that content. And here is how you do it. Um, you get to the navigation uh, console of the authoring uh, in Adobe Experience Manager, and then there is gonna, there's going to be a folder that's called experience fragments. This is the folder there. So once you click on that folder, you have all the sites, um, uh, experience fragments uh, options for your uh, organization. You can go ahead and uh, choose which site you're trying to create an experience fragment for. And once you choose that, then you're able to go into uh, the folder that you want to set up your experience fragment. Now, every experience fragment comes with a base. So the most important thing is uh, once you create that, for example, if we're trying to create a uh, a variation of a header or a footer that we can use in different places. We can go ahead there and say we want to create something under that. And we go ahead and do like we create pages and we say we're creating a variation. Oh, let's not start with a variation. Let's create uh, an original experience fragment. So let's go to the site there and see we're creating an experience fragment. For example, an experience fragment web variation that is like the template and let's say we're creating a styles variation this is a website that is doing apparels and clothings and caps and all these kinds of you know clothing items or fashion items so let's say um shoes shoes um styles um we're supposed to have that in there sorry about that shoes let's call that shoes style one and we can boom boom just create that one and it just an experience fragment is basically a page you know just without being a page so we can go ahead and say um, we need a text there and then we need we need a text we need an image and we need a text component there um, we can just copy that and paste how about that and then let's say we have some text there that we need to paste so can find our cut Lorem Ipsum there. That's my favorite, by the way. Uh, let's add a subtitle to it and let's just make muffins. So that's just we can just copy that. Um, one thing about experience, Adobe Experience Manager is whenever you copy and paste text, sometimes you want to clean that for any stylings. But for the sake of this, you know, I'll just assume there's no styling issues here of course you can see that it's copying directly so we might have to make that uh, bold all right so and let's what the heck let's just reuse that and paste it there so we can get rid of that additional and the images we can go to our assets let's find something exciting on fashion you know shoes maybe yep we can just go here and say these are the shoes we want to use there so that's our experience fragment we can preview it it's just basically content that can be reused these are sports shoes maybe these are running shoes but we probably need a variation of that for soccer shoes or football shoes we can go ahead and publish that experience fragment and then 
uh, under the same we can go ahead and create a variation of that and we can say we want the same type of experience fragment but we're gonna call it styles shoes two all right it's probably gonna be going to be the same um, type of page the only difference is we're going to change a few things so we can go to style shoes one first of all we could have copied and pasted that experience fragment and then just made the variation but we can also use it this way you know it's a little bit too much hassle copying and pasting the components but for the sake of this you know I'll show you the easier part and then I'll show you probably the much easier one so that's there and of course we have our image component there and then we have the experience fragment text there and here uh, we're going back to our assets and we're gonna find the image that presents the shoes that we're trying to have a variation for so assuming that <coughs> the whole idea about experience fragments is we are assuming that so these are soccer shoes or football shoes um, <coughs> in, in this what we do is we are assuming that we're trying to sell our sports gear we have maybe a generic first paragraph that is gonna be in every one of those pages that are going to talk about sports shoes but then we have a more specialized you know so for the sake of this example we can assume that this content here is going to be different it's going to be related to the product but this content here is going to be generic you know about how popular our sports shoes are you know and how we sell all kinds of shoes and how, where you can find maybe our stores and this and that and that you know depending on what you're trying to sell so now you have these two experience fragments they are variations so when your authors are publishing pages if they're trying to pull two pieces of information uh, regarding shoes and they're trying to publish that on their website you know then they can go down to um, the startup page and very quickly you know once in the sites so depending on what sites they're trying to work on they can go ahead and say um, creating products maybe and maybe they're creating a page there that talks about the different products they can come here and say um, maybe it's just a blog or something about the different products they can say there and say sports shoes and they can create that one and once you open that you know they have an option now of using that content not just in this page but in so many other pages that you want it to appear so you don't have to you know you can go ahead and uh, get rid of that content fragment which is basically and just you know add experience fragments instead um, that right there so first of all you can have that appearing several times and all you have to do is just to link that so basically this experience fragment component calls on to the pay the experience fragment page that we created so let's refresh that a little bit we're getting it to be a little bit slow so you have there you can easily call the resource that you already created um, the first resource you can call on that one and basically that renders that part of the content but also then you can go ahead and call the other one um, and uh, that renders the second version of your content that you want but this is not everything you know this is just for this but then <clears throat> now you have these two experience fragments you can reuse them again and again if you're gonna have them if you have hundreds of pages appearing you know different languages different locations you know need a little bit tweaking here and there to match the language to match the culture to match the um, market dynamics of that place then you can go ahead and customize 
a variation of this and call it or you can call these same content fragments or experience fragments again and again in different pages depending on what you need to do and that way you are able to reuse the content for the most part or if you still need to reuse the image but not the content then you just swap the content you know if you need to change a few things on this content you just change a few things you use a variation of that and that makes publishing very quickly thank you